Hi, Cancer. Let's do a collective reading for you today. So today is the 24th of October, 2024. Let's see what's in the energy for Cancer. The Page of Wands, the Star, the Two of Coins... Ace of Wands. The Page of Coins. The Two of Wands. The Ten of Wands. The world, and the king of coins. On the back of the deck, sorry, I was going to say Pisces. On the back of the deck, Cancer, you've got temperance and the seven of wands. Okay, let's grab out your clarifiers, Cancer, and then we'll get stuck into it. Let's see what you need to be aware of today. First card of the reading, though, Cancer, you've got the Page of Wands. Fire. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. What is the Page of Wands? I just want to see. That looks pretty straight. What is the Page of Wands? The Two of Wands. And the Six of Swords. Okay, there is an energy here. This could be someone new. It could be younger. Fire could be significant. They're coming in with some type of option. Uh, they're coming in with a proposition, I feel, um, which is going to lead to some type of crossroads, I feel, and uh, movement forwards into a new journey. So there could be a wish fulfillment. So whether this is platonic whether this is romantic but this is something that you've been trying to manifest in your life and i feel like you're going to take that option so for the star you've got the seven of swords and judgment so you're releasing something okay you're releasing something that you were holding on to that you tried to control in your life but there's something about making the call there's some type of call that's been given and i feel like you are following the call someone's telling you something that's pushing you into a new direction with the star and i feel like you're releasing something you could also be just leaving a situation just up and moving what is the two of coins for cancer so releasing control and moving forwards You've got the two of cups, the two of cups. What's the two of coins for cancer? The ace of wands. So there's a new beginning. Okay. There could have been imbalance in the past, but you're releasing something in the past, I feel, for something new. Whether this is a business ship or a, like a business partnership or a relationship you're starting a new passionate beginning with somebody that you have a plan with this person is as i said coming in with that wish fulfillment that that you have been wanting to manifest or you have been manifesting what is the ace of wands so here is that beginning you're taking the wand and you're moving forwards you have the five of wands What's the Ace of Wands for Cancer? And the Nine of Cups. So you're taking this new opportunity. There could be a lot of conflict in this. Okay, whatever this new beginning is, this new passionate beginning that you decided to take. 
but I feel like you're feeling happy even though there is conflict. There's something about conflict and then wondering whether this was the right choice to make or not, whether this was the right thing to give to. So you're choosing this option, okay? But now I see there's some type of conflict coming in the situation. What's the page of coins? The Ten of Wands. And the Ace of Swords. You started a new beginning, you're moving forwards, but you've got a page of coins sitting here in the center of your reading, Cancer. Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus with the page. They're coming to speak some words about something going on in their life, about the stability in their life, about what's stable in their life. how life is exhausting. So there's an energy here. It could be a child. It could be a younger energy, but there's someone coming in towards you as you're starting this new beginning in your life where there is conflict. There is another energy here. What is the two of wands for cancer? The six of cups. So I feel like you're now at a crossroads, Cancer. This person's coming in and wanting some help from you. They're saying some type of truth. They need healing. They need help. This person feels like there's people against them. Something about wanting to come together. Collaboration. This is a soulmate. Someone that could be from your past or a past lifetime, but I feel like this person feels like when they're around you that there's like this healing energy. Someone that needs healing. This person may see you as a healer, Cancer. What's the Ten of Wands? But there's this thing that you hold on to, this new passionate beginning that's got some type of conflict that comes with it. You've got the Four of Cups. The Queen of Wands. I feel like I need to grab one more. What's the Ten of Wands? And the Sun. So I feel Cancer. There's something about seeing an opportunity. There could be something you're holding on to that is weighing you down but there's some type of truth about a connection it could be with a leo you've got a lot of fire here leo aries sagittarius there's something about cutting something so you could be dropping the wands I feel cancer, there's something you see, you see the cup. There's an opportunity here that you don't want to miss and I feel like it's some type of divine connection. It could be with a feminine energy, it could be with someone that's passionate, uh, as I said, could have fire in their chart. I feel like this person is coming towards you wanting help but I feel like this is meant to be here. This is an opportunity that you shouldn't be missing, this collaboration that's coming in. Whoa, I nearly threw the cards everywhere. What is the world? The King of Pentacles. And the King of Swords. What's the world? What is the world and these two energies, the chariot?
You've got two masculine energies here. You've got a king of pentacles and a king of swords. I feel like there's a completion of a cycle with an energy, but I feel like you're emotionally like making a decision to leave this situation. There's something that you're dropping. You're closing that cycle out. This person could be a different nationality. Capricorn could also be significant. There could be distance. But this is something that leaves you stuck, okay? You could be spending a lot of money, time, and effort on it. I feel like you're making that logical decision, Cancer, to move forwards. I feel like this is someone that is focused on money. You've got Earth energy here, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, someone that likes to dress nice. Uh, they could be a boss. I just looked at the devil then. That some Capricorn energy could be significant. It's really coming out. You've also got your, uh, your energy cancer here with cancer. This is someone that watches you, someone that's watching you get ready to cut them out. <clears throat> but there's a new opportunity you're taking in your life, okay? Something that I feel that it's not weighing you down. There's no conflict. You've got the king of coins. So for the king of coins, you've got the high priestess. Someone that's coming to give to you. They could be buying something off you. It could be a business um, opportunity, as I said, You know that this is what you're supposed to be going towards. I feel like this is going to be some type of collaboration. And you've got the three of pentacles on the back of the deck. You could be ending something for this, okay? For this new opportunity, this reward. You're going with the flow of life, I feel, Cancer. This is going to leave you very abundant, this new opportunity in your life. So grab this opportunity when it comes. Do not miss it. And I don't think you will. I feel like you see it clearly when it comes into your energy. Let's now do these two cards on the back of the deck for what you don't see. So what you don't see, you've got temperance and the seven of wands. I'll just give these a quick shuffle. And one more. What is temperance? You have the Ace of Wands. So there is a new passionate beginning. I feel that's going to be a lot more healing. It could be with a mirrored soul. You've got temperance coming out. Sagittarius energy. Strength. Leo could be significant too, but I feel like there's something about having the strength to take this opportunity because I feel like you're leaving some type of third party situation, manipulation, conflict, having the courage to let go of a family member, a loved one, someone that you were giving to. It could be something that's very ego based also but you're going towards something that you've been dreaming of. What's the seven of wands? The six of pentacles. The nine of cups. And the magician. So you're cutting this out. You're cutting this out, Cancer. I don't think people are going to be happy. There's going to be people against you because you are closing a cycle and you're starting something new in your energy. To me, you're giving. You're, you could be a humanitarian and something about helping somebody. But this is going to lead to a wish fulfillment, okay? It could be something you're doing in the material world. Like you have the tools to help this energy and it's going to bring in a lot of happiness and a lot of wish fulfillment. Um, but I don't think the past or whatever you're leaving in the past is going to be happy about your decision. But 
There's too much conflict, I feel, in the past, okay? Let's grab out a music message for Cancer. One card for Cancer. Mbop, Hanson. So listen to that song. It will have messages. Cancer, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Cancer. I'm also doing personal readings. So if you'd like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. But I love you all so much. Have a great day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.